Hello Pisces. So this is your monthly reading that I have for you guys. Um, first, I'm going to start with the Capra deck and then also the Romance Angel. Then I'll go to the Tarot. So let's see here. I should start with the Romance Angel first. So Universe, give me a four card spread. What's going to happen in Pisces of Life for the rest of August 2021? So you deserve love. Universe, give me three cards. What's going to happen in Pisces Love Life for the rest of August 2021? Stay optimistic about your love life. Universe, give me two more cards. Flirt. Okay, so I feel like you guys are in a very positive space, okay? Um, I feel like you're not letting past experiences, past experiences um, make you give up on something, okay? So give up on love since this is a love reading. But this could be just like past things that probably didn't work. It probably didn't work out. I feel like you're not letting those um, those experiences stop you from doing something, okay? So, Universe, give me one more card. What's going to happen in Pisces of Life for the rest of August 2021? So, separation and love yourself first. So, yeah, this is with love. I feel like you guys are choosing yourself first, okay? You're not trying to be in a situation that is not bringing the best out of you, Um that was draining you, okay? And I feel like you're not letting that um, experience control you, okay? Where you are feeling sad, feeling bitter, feeling like love is not going to happen. I feel like a lot of you guys know that love will happen, okay? So that's good. Now let's look at the Capra deck. Okay. So, universe, give me a four card spread. What's going to happen, Pisces of Life, for the rest of August 2021? So, there's community, universe. There is main mail, universe, give me two more cards. Family room and courthouse. Okay. So, false person. Ooh. Okay. So, hey. So, this reading I can tell is already pertaining to the singles. Before the tarot, they see the tarot have something else. Um,. So for the single Pisces, I feel like, again, you guys are optimistic, okay? So the universe is trying to say, be optimistic, but don't be naive. Um, see people for face, not for face value, but, but see them for exactly for who they are, okay? Um, that's what I'm seeing, because I feel like there's going to be somebody who meet the description of what you want um, as a person, okay? So, you know, being financially stable, good looking, come from a good family, this and this and that. So they look really good on paper and probably real life too. But this person is not really a good person. Okay. So just be careful of that. So you might be this person relating something relating to family. So it's probably if you work in a court system or you work with family, um, you might meet this person at work. Okay. Or at court. So if you're doing like, if you have a trial or something like that um yeah or you can meet them in an area that have a lot of kids or um family okay so for example there's a plaza and they have a plaza where you have a daycare center and they have like grocery store like something like somewhere relating to that okay so it's yeah it's like a community so like a plaza you might meet this person at a plaza courthouse okay something like that so, let's see here. Universe, give me a five-card spread. What's going to happen in Pisces Love Life for the rest of August 2021? Three of Wands, Six of Swords. Okay. So, this is you guys moving on from past people, past connections, being optimistic with Three of Wands, you knowing that your ships will be coming. Universe, give me four more cards. What's going to happen in Pisces Love Life for the rest of August? Seven of Wands in reverse, okay. So Seven of Wands in reverse, I feel like in this case, is like you being open to love, okay? Not being standoffish. Okay. So let's see. Hold on. All right. Universe, give me three more cards. What's going to happen in Pisces Love Life? Emperor. Okay. okay, this is good. So this is like you guys are being controlled, okay, 
four of wands eight of swords so some of you guys want to date and not be in a relationship just yet okay or you're meeting someone like that this person want to date you but they don't want to be like they're not ready to be in a relationship okay universe give me one more card what's going to happen queen of cups okay so you might be an aries or a taurus person okay five of swords this person's kind of cynical i don't feel like they have the same energy as you like yes they probably went through stuff when it comes to the love life but they become a little bit cynical okay i feel like with you guys yes you went through stuff you healed you bounced back and you're open to love okay you're not bitter you're not cynical you don't have a pessimistic view um when it comes to love but this person have this side to them a little bit okay so that could be that person with the capper deck with the false person so universe clarify the emperor the tower oh, this person is very controlling king of cups five ones reverse two ones reverse so this person <laughs> this person wants you all for themselves right but they're not giving you what you want okay they're not giving you a relationship okay that's their energy so if you were to entertain this if this is your reading it's like they're expecting you to be giving them girlfriend wife or boyfriend husband um, benefit without them deserving it okay without them giving that's what i'm saying so this person like to take advantage that's what i'm seeing as well universe cut for the four of wands and eight of swords okay star in a verse and the temperance verse. yeah it's because this person's not healed so universe cut for the queen of cups king of cups, pentacles in reverse so yeah this person could be a taurus universe cut by king of pentacles in reverse eight of cups i feel like a lot of guys seeing situation for exactly for what it is when you see this person you might say okay this person look good you know um they meet my what i want in a person however when you get to know them you probably say okay something's off so i don't feel like you guys are gonna stay in a situation like this for a long time which is good um when you get to know them and see how they roll you realize this person just not aligned to you okay so universe cut by seven wants in reverse universe cut by seven wants in reverse Queen of Wands in reverse. Universe cut by Queen of Wands in reverse. Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so this is the, the past. I feel like you guys just give up on that. Um, universe cut by Three of Wands. So let's see. Two of Swords. So yeah, right now you are moving forward. You know, you're being optimistic. You know, you're not... Um, I don't feel like a lot of guys are not like being impatient with the universe, with God, with yourself. It's like, oh, where's my person? Where's my person? I feel like you guys are dating. Um, you just might meet someone who want girlfriend boyfriend husband wife benefits without deserving it but i like i see a lot of you guys peeping this person okay you see exactly who this person is and you're not going to stay in that connection okay or you're not going to entertain okay so universe five 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 of swords two of pentacles in reverse yeah i see you dropping this person because you see this person's have um they're not healed okay they haven't really learned what they need to learn with the world in reverse. That's all about graduation. They haven't complete a cycle within their own self. So the sign of this person could be an Aries or Taurus. Um, yeah, Aries, Taurus strongly. That's what I would say mostly. It could be other signs because we have like a, a lot of major arcanas. We have Scorpio, Aquarius. But I say they have strong energy of Aries and Taurus, okay? So that could be their rising, their moon venus so let's see here So universe, give me a five card spread. What's going to happen in Pisces love life for the rest of August? So there is visionary and victim. Yep. So this person is trying to see if they can. Yeah, I see. Look at this. A user. And I feel like it's more on emotional, probably a sexual um, energy of trying to use. Look at this bully. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is someone who's not good. 
Okay. So yes, they, you know, they do well. They have, they have a higher education. Um, they come from a good family, but this is someone who's not a good person, you know? So for example, if you have this list and you like, when you meet this person, you're like, oh my God, this person matches exactly why I want my person. I would say when you are, when you see they have an other side to them, I would say that's the time for you to re visit your list and focus on how this person is going to treat you. Cause a lot of people, um, like to focus on who the person is, like who the person, um, who that person is, but, and what they do, but focus on how this person would treat you. So you would say, um, my, you can say my divine masculine, or if you're, if you into woman, my divine feminine, um, is only interested in me. This person go out and beyond for me. This person, sh um, shows and tells me that, um, that they love me. They, this is someone who's emotionally expressive. Um, you know, focus on the treatment. Okay. So when you are connecting, when you're dating people, you don't get too caught up of like who they are and oh, like, oh, they matched my, my ideal person. Cause once they not treating you the way that you put on your list, you already know, like, this is not your person, which you already know, but sometimes you forget. <laughs> okay. So, cause when sometimes when you like someone, you forget and it's like, it become lost. But when you have that list and you focus on that treatment and whenever this person's not consistent, so you said my person is consistent and this person's not consistent with you, it's letting you know, it's like in the back of your mind saying, no, this person's not the one. So you're not going to get emotionally attached. Okay. So I'm sorry for the little <laughs> tangent, but yeah, I'm seeing that this is someone who look good on paper and might look good in person too, but this is someone who is not evolved. They're not healed. Okay. So universe, give me one more card. Midas. Yeah, this is someone who's very successful. Okay. This is someone who like to, you know, provide as well, but they have another side to them. So let's look here. Okay, so universe, give me a four card spread. I might name this, you haven't met the other side. <laughs> you haven't met the other side. I might name it that. Okay. So universe, give me a four card spread. Okay, so fragment. Yeah, this is someone who's broken. Okay. Okay. And then high priest of water. This is your energy. Queen of cups rigid okay but this is a very stubborn person not willing to change but they trying to manifest you into their life okay fledging but i feel like once you see them exactly for who they are you are going to um, walk away so let's look here let's look at the island time okay this card want to come out ascending okay so universe give me a three cards but let's just you have four pisces for the rest of August. Okay, a lot of cards will come through. Get set. Healing heart, sword and rose, and snake. Yeah. So I feel like the snake is past people, but also this person here. Um, I feel like you are leveling up. So like you're seeing red flags the first time. Okay. You're not seeing it and ignoring it. You seeing it, you assessing it, and once this person give you that red flag, you're getting out. Okay. Um, this person needs to start healing. Okay, but I feel like this person is very stubborn. Okay, so girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in a moment, having fun. New phase, where kind of renewed transformation, growth, change, mind. Okay, then outdated thinking, conditioning, or playing events over in your head. Okay, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder. The other woman, transcending obstacles, learning expansion, new phase, prepare for union. Okay. So let's look here. Okay, universe, give me a four card spread. Okay. So we got the wisdom card. Okay. This is the higher fan belief. So yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys, you got a lot of wisdom for past experiences. Um, you... You get, gain a lot from that. Shadow in reverse, okay? This could have been a karmic connection. This 
newer connection that's trying to form or this person that's trying to come into your life, this newer person. But I feel like you're not you're not going to allow this person to come in once they show their red flags. It's like you see them for exactly for who they are. You've been there, done that, lesson learned. You don't want to repeat certain cycles um, with different people, okay? Like dealing with the same person, but they're not the same person. So I got crown chakra. You listen to your intuition um, and destiny. So I feel like you want to connect with your right person. You don't want to waste time. So let's look here. So universe, give me a three card spread. What messages do you have for Pisces? Okay, I got exactly three. So breaking trail, watching clouds, and navigating better stars. So this is kind of like, you know, going with the current, not going against the current. Okay. It's kind of remind me of your first position in the tarot. I think it was the six of swords. I think six of swords is some other card. Okay. So again, that's like, that's the people that's on a boat and they're on a river. Okay. So I feel like a lot of you guys are transitioning, um, and you're in a much better place and you learn valuable lessons where you're applying it and dating and life period. Okay. So choosing your path, all is possible. A breakthrough is at hand, lie back, rest and relax. Okay. Yeah. I feel like you guys are not into struggle love. Okay. Anything that is so much of a resistance okay follow your bliss so let's look at the monology all right so universe gonna three cards spread the messages you have for Pisces so at end of a tough cycle approaches full moon Capricorn yep no more struggle love Okay, nothing is yet sent. Still, mutable moon. What I feel like we're trying to say is like, yes, you got out of a situation that was toxic, not good, but you might encounter, you might experience people who have the same vibration. Um, you know, so it's just trying to say like, take the valuable lessons. Don't be don't be naive. Okay, don't see things in a rose colored glass. Okay, see them exactly for who they are. Nothing more, nothing less. So here, bring love into the situation in Aquarius and surrender to the divine full moon, okay? So let's look at the angel answers. Okay. okay. Okay, so universe, give me a four card spread. Okay. Universe, give me a four card spread. What must just you have for recovery, which is the healing? Universe, give me three cards. Remain positive. Universe, give me two more cards. No. And universe, give me one more card. Meditation, bring answers and wait so i feel like this is just listening to your intuition okay you're still remaining positive you are healed okay you are in the dating scene but see people exactly for who they are okay and being patient that's what i was saying you guys are patient with yourself patient with god so let's look at the oracle okay so universe give me a two card spread what message what messages do you have for pisces for august 2021 so sanctuary. In my inner inner sanctuary, I connect to peace, inner quietude, and comfort. So again, you don't want anybody who will disturb your peace. Okay. So you guys have this. So asking opens a pathway when I ask questions of my inner well, I mean inner being. I discover that beautiful and helpful answers always come to me. Okay. So again, listening to your intuition, trusting. Now you guys are the most intuitive sign. So definitely trust your intuition. An inner wellspring. I have an inner wellspring of love that luxuriously overflows with abundance, okay? And I, I see that, okay? I feel like a lot of guys know your self-worth, okay? 
So that's the reading that I have for you, Pisces. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a person with me at queenfortheterrow at gmail.com.